On June 6th, I set out my camera to record an incoming storm. A front had passed from the northwest. This was a secondary front coming from due north. Originally, I set the camera to infrared recording. Once the second front moved closer, the sky changed color and got significantly darker. So I was able to switch to full spectrum from ultraviolet through our visible spectrum and into infrared, whatever the camera sensor is able to take in. I don't think I've ever captured as many anomalies in one video before. I am all over the place with this one, so fair warning. Here we go. First, notice the change in the color of the sky. At first, it has a blue tint and then switches to a red tint. I can tell there's probably a large horizontal platform above and below, and probably one here. And if this is a face, it's creepy. And another sharp one hanging below. But what's really interesting about the last shape was what popped out of it. It's not in the previous frames. And it happens to tap the bottom of the expected craft above, and boom. A sky shift, which I've mentioned many times before. The light between the viewer and the craft is bent just for a frame. Okay, watch. The platform above is hauling a mid-sized craft. It appears pretty clearly throughout. The next object that comes into the screen shows its predetermined path, just like in many, many other videos. And a sky shift to boot. Why? Because the previous two objects just skipped off another mid-sized craft starting to appear here. And again, boom. Another thing that seems to happen a lot, what appears to be a bird comes through, and an object, small and faster, travels on a different path at the same time. Hologram reflection. The tinted glass effect is appearing all over. Another sky shift, except for here in the background. What I believe to be not a bird and some object skipping off the craft. and yet another one, skipping off or running through the edge of the craft.
and another one bouncing off the edge of a crab. Here's where it gets really interesting. Keep an eye on this one. It is traveling across the front's path, not with it. I call this the ghost ship. I also believe that this one is seen in ultraviolet. If it were against a sky, it probably wouldn't show up. But against a dark cloud, it seems to just fine. And now, poof, exhaust either from the large craft below or the smaller one above. I now see these propulsive forces where the two craft meet to be beneficial to the motion of both, even if it is a 90% to 10% split. It is essential to the way the system works. And an object right through the stream. So there's one there. Possibly one here. Or it's all part of the illusion. In the foreground, a smaller one pops up. Some would say it's a hologram face, but I'd say it's a craft, especially when another object comes skipping off the bottom. Hopefully by now you can see the tinted glass effects of the edges without me pointing them out. There are several more triangles in this video. Try to pick them out.
I'd like to go back and address the cloud color changes. It seems as if these front clouds are reddish colored. Not only are the clouds reddish, but they tint the light coming from the sun to a reddish tint too. It is much more obvious in full spectrum. What would cause that? Moreover, I captured this on radar. I've mentioned the blue lines on radar before. KDR Media has a new term for this called outflow. That is misinfo. Blue lines are caused by the electromagnetic weapons, harp, etc. As the front moved south, the central area was affected by these waves, which condensed the storm's energy. Local weather warning boxes started to show on the radar as well. Do you think they could create a tornado? <laughs> 